Thanks. I'm Couch Guy. You're watching the Two Smart Guys Show, where every week we talk tech and news about owning your personal gadgets. And by owning, I mean like taking full control of them. <laughs> Getting your money's worth. Exactly. Um, and there's no better showcase of technology than the annual CES convention where people bring their vaporware out and hope to sell it to people. So tonight we are bringing you the top three car tech from CES 2014. Yes. So um, interestingly enough, every year there's always been a little bit of car technology there. And it's kind of what got me so excited about the Volt that I have is I kept showing it each year in different variations until it came out. It took them about six years before they actually came out with the thing. <laughs> um, this year is no different. There's there's different car technology. There's, uh, there's, there's the time machine, um, like the DeLorean. <laughs> so what would be number three in the list? Number three would be uh, Mercedes-Benz. They had a setup of uh, wearable technology for your car and how it would interact with it. So they had a setup showing how you could wear your Google Glass and you could say, take me to, um, you know, the Starbucks on 24th and 6th Avenue or something. And it would show you in your Google Glass the directions. And once you got to your car, it would automatically transfer to the navigation of the car, which would take you to the parking garage. And then when you hop out, it would still be showing on the Google Glass. And then you'd go all the way around the block or whatever to the Starbucks. Gotcha. So, so that's cool. So interactivity between personal tech and your car. Right. So instead of keeping all the technology separate, there was a big trend of, you know, connecting with your Integration. phone. Uh, Chevy was showing that you could do the same thing um, with the, the navigation on your phone, transferring it to the screen and back to the phone again. So you, instead of having to buy the in dash navigation for the vehicle, you just get an app on your car's infotainment system. Gotcha. Uh, number, number two. Number two. Number two. Uh, self-parking cars. Ah, uh, this has been the trend that I've been interested in because it started putting courses out for self-parking cars for a while. Yeah. And they have really caught on to the mainstream. It seems to be it's something that really high-end cars have. Yeah, uh, the luxury cars. Said, Ford's had it for a while. Um, I think the higher-end Toyotas have had it. Yeah, and you said Audi had Audi an had a really cool demo out in the parking lot. So they had it where the guy would drive up close to his parking spot, hop out of his car, because he wouldn't be able to open his doors because it was too thin, right? I mean, he, yeah. everybody gets that kind of a parking spot every once in a while where you have to climb out the trunk or whatever. Instead, he hops out, opens up an app on his phone, tells it to park. So it pops up and it says, hold down this button and it'll continue to park until you let go of the button. And it's got LiDAR on it or something, and so it always detects any obstacle, and it'll automatically adjust itself and do the perfect parking job. And if there's anything in the way, it stops. If you let your hand off of the button on the app on the phone, it stops. That way, supposedly, the failsafe is, is it's really easy to stop it, so you don't actually kill somebody. <laughs> I didn't get your car back out. Um, same thing. You go, you go up to your car, you do the app, and you hold it down and pull it out bring my car back out yeah yeah and the the idea is theoretically um you could do this in parking garages and just you know like pull up to the parking garage hit the button and go park interesting All right. that, that wasn't the demo number, though <laughs> number one uh, number one top car from ces 2014 yes, the number yeah. one top car from ces or at least the one that seemed to gather the most attention was the toyota fuel cell car so, basically, it's a car that runs on water. No. <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, they're, they'll have to post some of the specs in here, but they made it sound like it's way better deal than, you know, conventional gas or even electric. Um, I think it's equivalent miles per gallon, but hydrogen it would be uh, like 80 miles per gallon, kind of. -ish. Yeah. So, it, it sounded pretty good. It looked very interesting. It had this huge like intake grill to cool it off. And it was a hybrid in a sense because it did have a large battery pack in it too. Um, I'm not sure exactly how the tech worked, um, but they've been- Well, I, I heard some about this, some of these. There are more than one hydrogen car or at least hydrogen fuel cell uh, tech. And I think that the point is that you, you pop in a canister or you get a quick recharge of hydrogen 
and then that feeds the fuel cell. So that way you don't have to wait for either recharging or electricity or, you know, any sort of things like that. You can actually pop in a hydrogen canister. And since hydrogen can be harvested from water, it's really simple to, to get. Um, it's not necessarily cost effective always to get, but it's something that um, it, it's considered clean energy because it'll burn clean. And I've seen tech, um, tech where they showed you basically put a recharging station in your garage. And it, yeah. the byproduct would be um, uh, warm water, so you use it as your water heater too. <laughs> huh. Purified warm water that comes out of it as a byproduct, which is kind of interesting. Um, the the thing is, apparently, that Toyota claims they've been working on it since the early '80s, and they've actually had fleets of them in like commercial use for a, for a few years now. But the big deal is they're claiming in 2015 this will be a product that they will sell; people can buy it. Can only imagine how much that's going to cost. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, cool. So that 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 Atlanta leads out the top three car tech from uh, CES 2014. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, they were hiding it. They were hiding it in wrapping paper and driving around the country in different weather conditions to test it out. So if you ever see a car that's wrapped up in weird weird swirly marks like this one on the screen here, that means it's a new technology they're testing out. They don't want people to see. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> After, you know, when we finish up, uh, Pox will show you some of the extra other pictures he has from the car tech that he saw. I think my favorite is, was it the DeLorean that deployed the monster solar panel or the solar collector? No, it was a Tesla. A Tesla. It was a Tesla. You'll have, to show, you'll have to show that and a couple other pictures you have from the car tech. But that, just to make this short and sweet and uh, to the point, top three card tech from 2014 CES. Yeah, uh, please subscribe to the feed, see more of our CES coverage from this year, and uh, we'll catch our show every Monday on uh, twosmartguys.com and, and the YouTube channel. Bye! This has been a Two Smart Guys production.